Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Once again, I've got some emails, people with some queries, and I'm going to try and answer them. This week, I've actually got one from my sister because we were trying to Skype and she had a problem and there's other people as well who have a problem with their sound. Now, she couldn't hear me and some people might think that's a good thing, but we needed to get it sorted. And quite often, these things are very, very simple. Often, it's just the volume is turned down or switched to mute. Just check that out. It's normally in the bottom right hand corner of the screen if you're using Windows and there's what appears to be a little speaker. If there's a little cross through it or a little like no entry kind of sign there, it means it's on mute. Just click on it, unmute it or raise the volume. Also check your speakers are on. Sounds very obvious. And make sure no one's unplugged them from the back and that they're actually plugged into the right socket. So please do check all of those out. It's a very, very simple thing normally to sort out. Many people start looking for things more complicated. And it really is simply the volume is turned down, the volumes are turned down on the speakers, they're not plugged in or they're not switched on. And I can't tell you how often that's happened. Similar with microphones, if they can't hear you at the other end and they've checked all of that, just check your microphones plugged in into the right place. So they are simple things, they're not the only things, but they are the most common solutions to those problems. So now I should be able to Skype with my sister and she can hear me. And I'm gonna be doing a lot more with Skype very soon, and I've mentioned that before, but there's a lot to cover with Skype and I wanna show you that. So on to this week's app of the week. Well, this week's app that I've found really useful is one called Heathrow Pro, and it's for looking up flights. So I could actually check to see when guests were coming in and see what time their flight was due to arrive. Now, often people tell you when they're going to arrive, but that changes. And this gave me live information telling me actually that they were going to be early so that way I could avoid leaving them waiting. Unfortunately, you can't take into account London traffic and they did have to wait five minutes. Sorry about that. But hey, at least I got there a little bit earlier than I would have anyway. So that's Heathrow Pro. They're available for other airports. Have a look in your countries as well. If not, you can always just go to a website for that airport or the airline and you can actually get information there as well. It's really useful. So that is this week's app of the week and on to this week's new tutorials. You've probably realized that Excel is one of my favorites, as is Access as well. And this week I'm actually taking a look at creating charts in Excel 2010. It's similar to 2007 for doing this as well, but a lot of people are finding it quite different. It's not as different as it seems. You just have to look in different places, but basically it does the same sort of things. And I'm gonna show you some other things that you can do as well. Some of these things will apply to 2003 and you can just find the same options in the menus. So much is done just by right clicking or double clicking on the element of the chart that you want. And up will pop those options. But I'm gonna cover those in more detail. So please do check that out. Don't forget, if you've got any issues, any problems with IT, drop me a line, I'll try and help you out. Remember this website is for you and I will keep doing as much of this as possible to help you out. Thanks for watching, see you next week and happy computing.